The footage you are about to watch is of a sensitive nature, and although it may not be suitable for all viewers, it is for the glory of God. 25-year-old Mr. Ganu Sulaiman from Kwara State, Nigeria, has come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations with an excruciating problem of leg cancer. He gets up off the seat to show the very place the cancer has developed. The camera closes in to get a closer shot of the wound. You can see the skin of his entire leg has severely deteriorated. Flaky and dead skin, symptoms of the cancerous infection that has enveloped his right leg. This condition has gone beyond the power of nature, that no medical technology or medicines can solve this man's problem. It can only be treated, but it cannot be healed. This problem has become a curse. And who can remove the curse? It is none other than Jesus Christ. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24 to 25 says, He bore our sins in his body on a tree, so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds we are healed. Mr. Ganu Salimon waits in faith at the Synagogue Church of All Nations prayer line, believing that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and that just an encounter with him through his servant prophet T.B. Joshua will bring perfect healing in Jesus' name. Prophet T.B. Joshua has arrived to the prayer line as an ambassador of Christ, sending God's appeal through him that Jesus Christ is the master healer and that he heals for the salvation of their soul. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The pus and poisonous substances that were compressed under the skin instantly begins to gush out of his leg and pours on the ground. What is happening to Mr. Solomon? This is beyond human comprehension. This confirms what Apostle Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4. My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, so that your faith might not rest on human wisdom, but on God's power. The woman rolling on the ground is Mr. Ganu Salamon's mother, jubilating at what Jesus Christ has done for her son. Mr. Ganu Salamon begins to walk in the light of his testimony. You are free. Testifying that the pain has gone. Hallelujah. Look at the boy. Who? The boy is now walking. Walking majestically. Shall we put our hands together by the Lord Jesus? To God be the glory. Mr. Ganu Salimon is completely healed after receiving prayer from Prophet TB Joshua in Jesus' name. Mr. Ganu Salimon and his mother walk victorious down the prayer line, giving thanks to Jesus Christ for his healing power and deliverance. Who is like Jesus? Who is like the Lord? There is absolutely nobody like Jesus Christ. On the left, we saw Mr. Ganu Salimon suffering with an excruciating problem of leg cancer. But on the right, you can see Mr. Ganu Salimon's skin completely restored after receiving prayer from Prophet T.B. Joshua in Jesus' name. His leg is now perfectly healthy. Kodomirara, Kotami, Kurumi, Kodomimo. Tapping the area where the leg cancer once was, Mr. Ganu Salimon testifies that he no longer feels any more pain. Joshua <laughs> Mr. Ganu Salimon rolls up his trousers and testifies that Jesus Christ has set him free. He once again taps the area where the leg cancer formerly was, demonstrating that he is healed. He says there is no more pain. 
This is a confirmation that the gospel of Jesus Christ is indeed the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. Romans 1.6